Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, looks like we got some letters in the mail. We got our KK house that we bought last episode. We have a message from Jolly Red, which should be the uh, picture we bought last episode. On behalf of all of us here at Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, I'd like to thank you for your wise, and if I may add, final purchase of a solemn painting. All right, well, I'll place that in my pocket, and then finally, we have a letter from Luna, who we saw last episode as well. Thank you so much for allowing me to upload your dream earlier. It is a truly sweet dream, and so I have arranged what I hope is a truly sweet gift for you. Ooh, I wonder what that is then. I'm a little curious. Uh, so let's find out. Right over this way, uh, we have Dream Bell Exchange Ticket. I don't know what that is. We'll have to figure that out at some point. Um, along with that, we have a solemn painting and KK House. So we'll go and figure that kind of stuff out soon enough. But uh, for today, I'm mostly just focused on exploring around. Maybe we'll meet a new villager and here's our first shovel, our first our first fossil to shovel up of the day. But yeah, hopefully we can also get some uh, Nook Mile stuff done, meet some other villagers. Uh, we can invite some people to like the camping and stuff. Uh, it really just depends on what we fill up to doing because I don't know if there'll be any pr people uh, visiting or anything today, normally, without the amiibo cards. Yeah, we'll just sort of get to it. Have some oranges over here. I don't think most of the fruit is regrown. It was just, I guess, some fruit trees that I may have missed. Oh no, the cherries are here. All right then, so I guess we'll be able to get lots of fruit as well, but there should only be four fossils because I'm actually playing the day after last episode. <laughs> So that's good that I'm keeping up with that for once. So we'll have lots to do, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, there's still a lot I have to focus on in the game, but I'm hoping that I can really knock it out of the park throughout August and really start to playing a little bit more often. Maybe get you know whatever remaining fish and bugs we have to find. Here's another fossil spot already. And this shovel has to be on its way out soon. I've been shoveling so much. There has to be something given way soon, right? That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Got some oranges as well. Well, you know, while we're standing here, actually, no, I was gonna say maybe we could go and check out Timmy and Tommy, but we'll go when our inventory's a little bit full. I do see Biff over there to talk to. Speaking of which, maybe we should take a peek at our Nook Miles while we're working on everything else to begin with. Uh, so hitting the rock, talk to your neighbors, get fossils assessed, chop down trees, and sell fruit. Well, we'll definitely be doing all that without too much of an issue. Uh, let's talk to you now. Oh, I like your little bag. Sup, Iron Z, you're looking pump, Squirt. Let's talk. It's a great day for some cross training. Yeah, it is good weather. Uh, this is for you. Let's go ahead and give him an orange, if not anything else. Here you go. An orange sounds delicious right about now. Thanks, I'll eat this later. I don't think they can really give you for anything for giving them an orange. Oh, that's right, it's Saturday, so, uh, we got a uh, KK Slider here. Nice to see you, Zebra. You're looking perf as ever. I want to chat. Sunny days are my absolute fave. On a sunny day, it feels like anything is possible. Yeah, I guess so. Except for <laughs> rain. <laughs> Maybe that's the one thing that's not possible when you're enjoying a sunny day. Why, oh, Zebra, thank you for saying hello, Rebet. Let's chat. The island breeze is quite lovely today, don't you think? It feels as if it might carry my cares away with it. Uh, hey, who wants buzzing? I'm putting on another show today before I hit the road again. I'm not taking requests right now, I just wanna do my thing. Let the music take me where it wants to be. I'll start taking song requests around 6 p.m. Come catch me then, you dig? I definitely will try to. <laughs> How's your day going, nutmeg? Uh, lay it on me. I'm trying to make the most of today. It's a good thing to do that every day. Alrighty then, so let's see what we got here. We got the times two for talking to three neighbors. That should give us a new quest to focus on as well, which is going to be grow fruit trees. So you know what, maybe I, I've been meaning to knock this tree down, right? Uh, maybe now's a good time, and then we'll talk to Stu. Because of course, we'll also get uh, that quest done. Hey, Stu, no, be careful, Stu. I'm a little clumsy with this ax. Hey, zebra, thanks for saying hi. The best part of taking a nap in a tree is how the tree puts you on the ground just before you wake up. All right, you've said that a couple of times, but you're saying it again. Um, let's go ahead, and I'll just make little fruit tree right here. Not anything too fancy, but it'll be good to get out of the way. I'll probably just plant an orange. I wanna sell the cherries. Perfect. So there's another one out of the way. So yeah, knock down a tree, that'll be 400 miles, and then an additional 100 for growing a fruit tree. Always gotta put back what you take down. Okay, and the rest of it, we can just focus on doing our normal da daily to-do stuff, and that should help us out a lot. 
But yeah, we'll just focus on doing that first and then move on to whatever we have extra time for. I will try my best to play later today so that we can actually check out the KK Slider stuff. And that'd be a great excuse for me to also work on my town a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see because with each KK Slider concert, you unlock a new song. And that is definitely something I need to work on. So I did see the other fossil spot around there. This is our third one, so we already know where all four of them are. Okay, he wants to sit by the hole for some reason. Sorry, I covered it up. Well, let's go ahead and shake that up a little bit. And we'll get some oranges. You know, while I'm by these rocks, maybe it actually would be worth our time to start hitting them. But there we go. Okay. But yeah, I did double check at the end of the the summer part two update to um, like the trailer that they posted on YouTube, Nintendo did. Um, they did say that the, the next update is a fall update, which is pretty cool. Um, the little icon for it was like a jack-o'-lantern. So I can only assume that at some point or another, probably in October, maybe maybe September, but probably October, uh, we could maybe see some kind of like a fall Halloween themed update. And that'd be a lot of fun. I've been trying to brainstorm like what kind of things, because of course with the uh, month of fall or the, the season of fall, we'll end up seeing some different stuff like uh, different colored trees and stuff. So that'll be fun. But on top of that, hopefully um, with the updates, I don't know really what we could end up seeing that might like add to the game. Maybe they can add raking. <laughs> I don't know why, that's the first thing I think of when I, <laughs> when I think of the, the, the fall season is all the leaves fall off the trees and you have to rake it all up. <laughs> Maybe not the most exciting addition to the game. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that'd be interesting. A more in-depth lawn care update. Who knows? But at this point, like, they could really add anything. I just don't know what to expect. And that's both exciting and, you know, I, I wouldn't say stressful, but it's like, it, it leaves me with a lot of anticipation for the future of Animal Crossing. And speaking of, like, Nintendo and updates and stuff, uh, there hasn't been too much Nintendo news so far this year. Um, of course, we were all waiting for the new Paper Mario game, and now that has come out, and lots of us have been enjoying it. Me included, I've been doing a series on it, we're gonna be trying to you know, complete it 100%. And then they have confirmed one additional new game, which was Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which I definitely wanna play. I've never played a Pikmin game before, so it'll certainly be interesting for me um, to try that out and to sort of give it our best bat. And maybe if I like it, who knows, maybe we could go back and play the other older Pikmin games as well. Um, Cause I, I, like I said, I have never played one, Pikmin one, two, or three. I mean, I have played the Hey Pikmin 3DS game, but I know that that's different. And I don't think a lot of people would consider it counting as playing an actual Pikmin game. Cause just the gameplay style is so different. But let's go and talk to Pashmina over here. I don't know if we've got that bug off that stump before. Hey, what's up kidders? Rocking the day along? Chat with me. It's probably the weather, but wow, I feel like a million bells today, kidders. Yeah, everybody's talking about the weather. Yeah, I don't know if we got that bug before. Let's get our colorful net and try to get it right now. Go. All right. And that is, I caught a jewel beetle. It's a real gem. So I guess we have gotten one before. So nothing too crazy there. Cool. What about this little cicada? Have I gotten it in the past? Oh, it's new. I caught a walker cicada. Pfft. I walk all the time and no one calls me walker zebra. I guess that's true. Um. Hmm. And I think that's most of this island, or this corner of the island, all figured out. If I have the net out, maybe I'll get an extra bug or two. Or not. You know what? There probably will be a Nook Miles thing soon enough. Oh wait, no, wrong button. I am not ready to wrap things up. I just wanted to check out our Nook Miles. Because what things are we working on right now? I should probably sell some fruit now, because our inventory is just about full. And then maybe I'll go grab that one fossil and get it assessed and work with all that soon too. But we can also check out what's available in the shop today. Maybe some cool new stuff, maybe not. I need to get a new ax, so that'd be worth focusing on. There's a baseball mitt chair. Okay, so I wanna sell. So I am offering a, uh, a good group of cherries, oranges, pears, just a typical coconuts, shells, not that bug. I need to sell, I need to donate that bug. But we'll do that. And how much money will that be? We didn't really save any money last episode because I, I bought a piano instead. So if we could change that up today, that'd be great. But there is still some stuff I wanna check out. Like we have a pop-up toaster. Let's see, that's 2,300 bells. I gotta get this for the, uh, the kitchen. 
And what about this stuff over here? Actually, before we do anything more, we might get a quest that is spending bells. So if we could get that out of the way first, that's good. And redeem Nook Miles, okay. So what is this? <laughs> Seems like you're just in a throwback mitt chair. Uh, this is gonna be 1400 bells. Not super interested, but <laughs> thank you for the offer. And this is just like a cute little chair. Yeah, cute chair. <laughs> what do you know? I'll pass, but I am tempted with this big dining table, maybe a little too big. Table with cloth. 5,000, okay, that's not too expensive. I'll give it a go. Okay. And then we need to also plant some flowers, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. Right down this way. Orange, red cosmos, red hy hyacinths. Let's do yellow cosmos, that sounds fun. Um, and I'll buy a bundle of five. I think that's all I need. Wait, I wasn't done. <laughs> Hold on. I also need to move over this way. Actually, no, it should be right here, right? Yep, The I gotta upgrade it myself, but the flimsy ax, 800 bells. There we go. So spending a lot of money, but not as much as last time. So that's at least good. And let's head out of here. So we still have the rest of the town to explore, get that last fossil, get some more fruit from the big fruit patch. That should be good at the least. So let's get to it. But then beyond that, we could also go to different islands and stuff. Plenty of things to do on the to-do list. And I already have an extra shovel um, in our inventory, so I don't have to worry about setting that up for right now if this one does happen to break. But we're getting some iron nuggets, which will be great for upgrading the, the stone ax we currently have. There we go. This shovel is holding on tight. Who knows when it's gonna give in. And also I need to read my message in a bottle, just so that that is a space in our inventory potentially cleared. Uh, the, this new DIY recipe was inspired by a scene in the novel I'm reading right now and really enjoying. Cool, it's the pansy table, which I already know, so. I can give that away, or I can sell it, probably sell it, and there's plenty of fossils, not fossils, but uh, shells around here, and coral, all that kind of stuff. But then we gotta get all that fruit, and that's gonna take us a second. Oh, so while this was going by, or while I was doing this, there was a balloon going by. That's what I should have said. Boop, there we go. Luckily, that doesn't count as landing in the water. What did we get for that? Oh, our inventory is way more full than I expected. This is a hamster cage. We actually already have one of these. So I should probably sell that, but that will be a daily Nook Miles, I think. Well, maybe not daily, but a Nook Miles for uh, popping a balloon. And now chopping wood, which I just had gotten started with <laughs> over here. So let me get the rest of this, then we'll have to sell it again. Uh, but we're, you know, just still chipping through what we're supposed to do. Okay, so I have even more stuff to sell these guys, even more fruit. Inventory's filling up fast today, uh, because I actually didn't get all of them. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely have to go back and figure some things out soon. But for right now, I can sell these shells, I can sell all of this fruit, and that seems to be about good for now, and this DIY recipe. And that's 18,000 bells, very nice. That's jumping us up to 26,000. We still need to find the money rock too, so, and we haven't sold whatever duplicate fossils we'll end up getting with that, so yeah, going pretty good. Okay, so while I'm home, I was organizing my inventory. I figured we'd go ahead and register KK House right over here. All right, so let's listen to this one. <laughs> I like it, so there's KK House. Pretty cool to get that figured out. Um, so yeah, I, I really, I think that Hopefully between episodes, if I remember, I'm going to try to, uh, what is it called? I'm going to try to make a little list of all the KK Slider songs I have, all the ones I need. Um, that way I can sort of just know which ones to ask for. Because once he plays a concert, I think we unlock that song as far as I remember. So we'll see how that works. But for right now, there's still more of this part of the island to explore. So I'm exploring it. And I guess I could also knock down some wood along the way. I do have to go back and pick up the uh, the pears I did not pick up before because I didn't have any inventory space left. But I know that there's at least gonna be more stuff in this corner, some oranges, there's the fossil spot. I'm just gonna give everything a little swing for right now. And then we'll loop back around to grab it all. 
But yeah, it's just good to get this stuff done as we normally do. But yeah, like I was saying before, Pikmin 3 Deluxe coming out, I think sometimes in October. I highly doubt that's the only game that will be releasing for holiday. That seems like a little too little. Usually Nintendo likes to have a couple of big hitters and I think that Pikmin is very cool, but I don't think it's the most popular game out of their sort of collection. There goes the shovel. I've been waiting for it. And now we can equip the other one instead. So let's just go ahead and favorite that over here. Excellent. So yeah, um, who knows what they might announce next. I'm sure a lot of people have ideas, but I feel like at this point with Nintendo, you just sort of have to wait and see. That's sort of the fun of it though. You never know what they're gonna announce until they announce it. Recently, they haven't even been doing directs. They've just sort of been announcing things on their social media pages, which is like, you know, if that's what they wanna do, that's fine with me. As long as we eventually get new games, <laughs> that's what I'm most excited for. Uh, so yeah, Pikmin 3 is sort of the big one right now, but I'm sure that it just feels like to me, there's probably gonna be more. Uh, what that will be, we'll have to wait and see. But beyond that, I think there's also, you know, the second part of the Pokemon DLC coming out, the uh, the Tundra. So between those two things, we'll at least be a bit busy. And of course, I'm always playing older games as well. So there is a lot to sort of keep occupied with, um, no matter what, no matter if there's a lot of games, little games, um, I'll definitely be playing a lot. So stay tuned. Anyways, hi Blathers. Uh, let's see what he has to say about all of the different fossils and we have, and also the painting and the bug. Uh, so yeah, these four right there. Please let one of them be new, please. Nope, <laughs> nothing new. That's unfortunate. But we do have at least two new things with this bug and with that painting. So, boop and boop. So this is only our second painting donation. And I'm fine. So hopefully as time goes on, we'll be able to add more and more to the collection and we can complete it. We haven't completed any of the collections yet, but we've been trying. So yeah, let's see what we get here. Uh, in terms of uh, miles, we get 300 of them and we actually completed all of the daily doubles. Not too bad. So for the rest of it, plant flower seeds, customize items, redeem nook miles, chop wood, and catch an olive flounder. Okay, well for right now, I'm mostly focused on getting fruit and hitting the rocks so that we can find the money rock. Because I think I've done this one, and I've done that one. So we're good to sort of just get out all over this way where there's plenty of orange trees and at least one rock. Oh, here's Celia, how are you doing? Great to see you, zebra, feathers. <laughs> You look like someone who's got big plans, Zebra. I'm more the little plants type. Well, you know what? A bunch of little plants combined make one big plan in general, so I think that you're doing good no matter what. I'm a little bit of both. I try to make big plans, but I try to break them up into smaller plans so it's not as stressful. <laughs> That's my big tip with that. If you have something big you're working on, try to break it up into many small pieces so you can sort of take that on one bit at a time. I don't know what we're getting here. It sounds like it could be the money rock, Oh, it is! All right. <laughs> I might have to move this tree soon. Okay, was that everything? I guess so. So we're getting over 40,000 bells here. There we go. And actually at the 42,000, not too bad. So we don't have to worry about hitting any more rocks if we don't want to, but I might still keep at it because I, I, I am still trying to get more gold nuggets. Some of you let me know that apparently there's a recipe you can find just randomly upon picking up a gold nugget which sounds odd, but that definitely isn't something I wanna miss out on. So if we find more, I'll certainly try for it. And we got plenty more shells to grab as well. But beyond that, once we find uh, the rest of the fruit trees, we really don't even need to go up to the higher levels. We've already gotten um, all of the fossils, so there's not really anything up there that I particularly need right now. So yeah, that might be just sort of worth not worrying about. Instead, we can focus on some other things. So I think I've gotten all of the fruit trees in our island. So now we can just focus on a couple of other things. First, let's just sell whatever we have that we need to sell. Then we'll go to the town center. Then we'll go to the um, Able Sister shop. And then we'll have just free time to do whatever else we want. I think that it's good time to meet up with a villager through the campsite. We haven't done that in a while, so it'd be fun to do that again. So I think we'll definitely get that done. Um, in the meantime, we can sell this shell, these oranges, these fossils, 
and all of this as well. Very good. And done. 19,520 bells. We made some good money today then, for sure, for sure. So yeah, let's go to the town center. And I'm glad we got the daily doubles for the Nook Miles done. Um, there's still extra Nook Miles we can get for like spending some, that would work. So I'll probably do that in just a moment. Uh, but yep, we're just gonna go over here. I'm glad that KK Slider is here though and jamming out. Like I said, I wanna play later today. Hopefully I can find the time so that we can enjoy one of the concerts and I'll do that once I have the proper KK Slider list. What's going on over here? I got an old tire, I might as well take it. Could be good for a DIY recipe at some point or another. And let's see what we can do here. Mostly, I'm just going to uh, buy another um, flying ticket, a Dodo Airlines ticket right here. Well, I guess it's just called a Nook Miles ticket. <laughs> yep, sounds good. And I'll probably go to some islands next episode. I wanna spend today sort of at the island. Okay, and let's make another selection in the shop, not this place. Nook shopping, here we go. Special goods, uh, anything crazy. KK Folk, which we actually just bought a couple days ago, so not really. All right, note taken. And I guess we could put money away in the ABD, but seeing how I'm gonna go to the shop. Oh, you know what, now would be a great time just to scan the amiibo. So let me go and grab the amiibo cards and we'll see which one we'll see today. All right, so I scanned Klaus's Amiibo. Um, I didn't really choose one in specific. It was just sort of, I shuffled all the cards I had because not too many people are requesting cards that I actually do have. Whoa, he's got like a toga. Hola, this is Klaus. Glad to call it. What can I do for you, Strudel? What, me? Come to the campsite on Strite? Of course, anytime there's a trendy new hotspot. I'm so there, Strudel. So he has like a, a Greek or Roman influence, I guess. He's got the, the curly hair and, um, the, the little toga, interesting. Let's also see, what did we get here? I think, yeah, that was for spending the Nook Miles. I still have to hit one more tree, so we'll do that. And I also have to change my wardrobe, which I've been needing to do for a while. I do not like her current outfit too much. So, we got a couple of things we gotta do. Stuff right now, excuse me, Mr. Slider. Don't mean to sneak up behind you. We will switch over to the flimsy ax, which I'll upgrade once we're back home. And there we go. We're racking up the miles today, for sure. Another 150. And then complete DIY projects. We'll definitely have at least one, or usually we do, um, once we see whatever villager is here, which you know is gonna be Klaus. Sometimes we'll request us to do certain things, so we'll see what that's gonna be about. Whoa, is that a, uh, a samurai helmet? Wow, you got some cool stuff today. I gotta buy the samurai helmet. <laughs> I like dressing up with different things like that. I mean, not for my daily outfits, but ooh, camo tea. Oh, I like the uh, the black and white one. Maybe we'll go for that. So camo tea, denim jacket, a couple of different colors. Uh, the humble sweater with some sleeves underneath. Uh, pineapple aloha shirt we've seen, cargo shorts we've seen. Corduroy skirt might be new. And a couple of different colors. Ooh, elephant print pants. I like them, those are cool. Outdoor shorts. Uh, plover dress, interesting. Oh, a little strawberry dress, that's new. Uh, the matronly bun, matronly, interesting. The samurai helmet in white, in black, and in red. I like the black one the best, that one's, oh, and, and in yellow and blue, okay. We also got the doctor's mask, uh, masquerade mask, very fancy. All sorts of different colors. I feel like you'd have to get the golden one though. And you can combo them. There we go, round shades, different types of socks, uh, comfy sandals, we've seen the pleather sneakers, and the shower sandals, and the wingtip shoes. Actually, have we? I don't know. Very fancy, very old school. Anyways, we're gonna go with that, uh, this, and I guess this. <laughs> Maybe not all of this I'm going to keep for right now, I guess we'll, we'll switch it out for right now, but uh, I will be going back to change my, <laughs> my outfit anyway. Wow, you look great. <laughs> Uh, I guess anything to compliment the customer. <laughs> okay, well, let's head out of here. I will definitely be coming again, hopefully once a day, to you know, see what else you have. But that was fun, I enjoyed it. So let's go back home now. <laughs> what an interesting experience that was. And while we're here, like I said, we'll upgrade this ax, and that'll come count as a uh, 
DIY project. So that's good. Uh, right over this way, stone ax. Oh, I need one more piece of wood. Well, let's hope we don't ironically lose out on this ax while we're trying to get wood. There we go, perfect, that's all I need. So grab that real quick, run back over here, and craft again. So DIY project one of three, if I wanna be able to get, uh, what is it called? If I wanna get that uh, Nook Miles done. But we'll be done for now, because I'll also have to talk to the villager in the campsite, because they will have something for us to make. Hopefully we can make it, whatever it is. But first, I need to organize my inventory, I need to change our outfit a bit. I need to look a little bit better to impress class, now don't I? Okay, get changed. And for right now, I'm just going to take all this off so we can start from scratch, because I feel like that might be good. I like the camo too, you can tell I like this camo color. Um, okay, that's a little bit too much of one theme. I wouldn't mind just like a darker pair of pants. I think that looks pretty good. We don't need a full body suit, but we have some different hats here. <laughs> okay, I like the color scheme, but not really what I'm going for. I think that we look good with either this one or the denim cap. We do the denim cap all the time though, so we'll do the knit hat and the cool shades. And we get the striped socks. Nobody will be able to see those anyways. Hmm. Actually, I like that. And we might as well choose a backpack. We got like the, the black, dark gray color scheme going on. I think that's good. And that'll be more Nook Miles done that we'll deal with in just a second. I just want to store away some more stuff. I didn't put the flowers down, so that is something I'll have to worry about in just a second. Don't exactly know where I want to put them. So I was thinking, and you know what a cool place to put them is? Maybe in between each tree. So if I stand right here, I can just plant one right there. Oh, that's perfect. And that way we can alternate between trees and, and flowers. There we go. And then I think one about here. There we go. The only problem is it's a little lopsided. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and we'll also go and check out those two Nook Miles done. Make more room for everything else. So 150 there. So we're over 60,000 and 100 there. And that means catch a citrus longhorn beetle. If I see one, I'll definitely grab it. Let's go say hi to Klaus. He should be chilling up this way. Oh, is that it? No, that's not it. I don't think so. Okay, so hopefully he's a nice guy to get to know. So far they've all been, they've all been so pleasant. I don't think he would be any different. Wow, he's tall. Hey, thanks for calling me here to the big show. Been waiting for my shot for a while now. <laughs> so, so far he's talking like, uh, Chatter did, Chatter, the little uh, cheese mouse. Uh, I just had a wild idea. Why don't we make something striped themed? Something like some log steaks? I could give it a try. Whoa, are you serious? That would be amazing. One tiny detail. I'm leaving tomorrow forever. So I need this done today, Strudel. You don't want to come back? <laughs> You know what the best part of camping is? Looking up at the night sky. I like to think of it as the biggest movie screen in the world, filled with all of the biggest stars. Really hoping to get my name up there one day, even thinking about taking an acting class soon. Sounds cool. It's been a while since I've been camping, so I'm really gonna let loose, Strudel. Like, I might even, I might invent a new dance moon, or a daring new type of ri rice porridge. That, that's the kind of thing you do when you're camping, right? I guess so. Thanks for the for offering your help. You're still making log sticks, right? Yep, I'm working on it. Cool, cool. I'm playing it totally cool. I'm not overly excited at all, Strudel. All right then, so let's go and make his log steaks. <laughs> I don't know why he wants log steaks. That's really something he can get anywhere. Like, he didn't give us a recipe because we've had that for a long time. I think it was one of the first recipes we got. Because I know it was needed to build our first bridge. Anyways. I sort of went a little too far. You gotta go up here. I don't think we have any wood right now, so I definitely cannot make it without going inside and grabbing some more out of our inventory. But yeah, then we'll make the log steaks for him. He just wanted one, right? I don't need to make like a whole set. That really shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I mean, in reality, I probably have some in my inventory. Yep, I already have some. <laughs> well, then let's give him something easy. And this is why it's always good to, you know, get as many DIY recipes as we can and just, you know, build things when we have the chance. That way it makes things easier later, right? Okay, so 
I'll switch over to the vaulting pole and we will vault our way right over here. It's pretty quick once you do that. So hopefully he's happy with this because if not, I don't know what else he's asking for. He might ask for more than one, but I, I don't think so. All right, Klaus, you're a real easy customer. I like your donut. Are you done making long steaks for me? Yep, here you go. Right over here. Yes, finally. The striped log steaks of my dreams. It's not much, but please give, let me give you a little something. Here, enjoy a throwback hat table. That's what, that's what Timmy and Tommy were selling. I think, maybe? Maybe that was a throwback glove table. You know, if I never came here, I wouldn't have met or received any of your amazing creations. From now on, Stripe will be my number one vacation spot. Just don't forget to invite me back. All right, well, we'll keep it in mind, but we got plenty of other people to invite as well. This island has a chill vibe. I could use my, get, or I could get my chi unscrambled here. My fang all sweet up, Strudel. All right, uh, I've definitely thought about it, but, oh yeah, I guess I asked him to move in. But I wanna take things slow. Get to know the island better first, Strudel. For now, I'll let absence make my heart grow fonder, so I'll be happier if, or no, when you invite me back. You ever notice how taking a step away from your everyday life makes you appreciate it that much more? I do, which is why it's always important to take breaks. And then you can't wait to get home, only to remember why you'd be so desperate to get away. But that also gives you extra focus, right? That gives you extra focus on, hey, I like things in my life, but there's some things making me want to get away. How can I solve that? It gives you clarity. Fun stuff. I think there's some, some benefit to be had with that. You know that what the best part of camping is? Looking up at the night sky. I like to think of it as the biggest movie screen in the world, filled with all the biggest stars. I'm really hoping to get my name up there one day, even thinking about taking an acting class soon. So he, he talked about that. Uh, it's been a while since I've been camping, so I'm really gonna let loose. So it looks like he doesn't have too much more to say. So there we go, there was Klaus. We made him his uh, thing, his, well we didn't even make it, we already had it. And he seemed to enjoy it though. And he gave us this fancy chair, throwback hat table. Oh yeah, we have seen this. And they're throwing, they're selling the throwback hat, or throwback gloved chair in the, in the shop right now. I probably have to sell some of the stuff I have left over in our house at some point. We have a lot of stuff in the house right now. <laughs> Just like, that I don't really need, I don't think I plan on using, but I've been sort of hoarding it because you never know who might need what when, you know? But who knows? Uh, for right now, let's put that away. No, I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's put it away, put it in storage. And the same thing with this little flower. Do a little bit of that. And yeah, I wanna finish things up. Is there any DIY recipes I can work on um, so that we can get that one nook miles done? And that will probably be done for today. It's been fun. Uh, hmm. So there's some new stuff here. We got like the music stand. Oh, that would be perfect for the music room. It just needs hardwood. Okay. Well, we're gonna do that one then. So that was just eight hardwood. So I have to look through. I wish there was a materials section because there really isn't, is there? Not really, no. Okay, so the dark hardwood. Hmm. Here it is. So we're just gonna get a full stack of it out because we actually are, we're building up a bit of a collection of wood now. It took me a while, for sure. So we can build that and then we can also look into what other options we have for other buildings. So, music stand, craftable. Let's do it. Excellent. So that was like a nice little thing that you can put like your music sheets on so that you can follow with whatever music you're trying to play. What else do we have? Uh, there is a log wall mounted clock. There's a nice little key holder, iron frame, ironwood low table. Don't I need this for this? No, I need an ironwood dresser and iron and cutting board. Cause we have ironwood DIY workbench, ironwood table, ironwood low table. I would like to keep working on this stuff though. So ironwood table, I need wood and iron nuggets. Not too bad, we can do that. Uh, so let's, no, no, I don't need this anymore. Cause we just need normal wood and iron nuggets. So back down this way, need to switch over. Normal wood is right here. I think iron nuggets were up this way, or maybe not. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> our giant stack of them all. 
and let's go back in. So let's craft again and make this ironwood table. Just because I have it in the past, it will definitely be a great addition to our kitchen. Okay, so actually that's all the crafting I wanted to do to, for today. I definitely want to get into the shop or into the house and sort of organize things more often. Um, I just haven't in a while. Haven't since egg day, really. So definitely something I'm working on, but I feel like I'll get more ideas once the house is bigger, you know? So I feel like I should hold off. Who knows? Anyways, 150 Nook Miles, just like that. And redeem Nook Miles. I already did that today, but it wants me to do it again. I don't know if it's too worth it right now. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and put my money away in the ABD, and they'll be all done for today. But yeah, we're doing good. We're making steps closer to paying off our current loan. We are improving the town little by little, even if it's just putting a couple of flowers down and getting some extra stuff done. But I'm glad that we met Klaus, and later today, I hope to play again so that we can improve the town a bit more and enjoy a little KK Slider concert. Because we've only done that, I think, twice before, so if we could do it some more, that'd be fun. So here we are at the ABD and deposit 49,510. There we go, 5,000 left over. Not bad. So we still need like a, about like five to 600,000 bells. We'll get there. If we can keep, you know, putting away 50,000 bells every episode, it'll still take a while, but it won't take super crazy long. It's just sort of chipping away to every day. I'm hoping I can play tomorrow as well, not only because um, I want to get to uh, getting some extra turnips. I haven't done that in a while, so we'll try that out. And then also later that day, we'll have the fireworks show. So maybe we're gonna get a good chunk of Animal Crossing episodes coming up, I'll do my best. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.